Hey guys, this is a get ready with me video. I'm going out to dinner with some of my friends. Unfortunately, as I was filming this video, I ran out of time to shoot a awesome intro. So I'm just doing a voiceover. I hope you guys still enjoy the video. So right here I'm taking my Urban Decay Complexion Primer Potion. I'm applying that all over my face so that I have a very um, even coverage and then also my foundation lasts all night. And then after that, I'm going to be taking my Makeup Forever Full Coverage Concealer in color 18 with a beauty blender, the black one. And I'm just going to be applying that all over my face, under my eyes, on my chin, along my jawline, a little bit on my forehead, a little bit on my nose, um, above my lip, just everywhere I see a little bit of discoloration or like any acne scars. And then after that, I am going to be taking my NARS Balanced Foundation in New Orleans and a Sigma Dual Fiber Brush, the F50, and I'm just taking an empty Bobbi Brown concealer container just to pour my foundation in so that I don't have to put it on my hand. I'm just applying that all over my face with a stippling brush. I'm taking the Sigma Pro Full Coverage Airbrush, number 53, to blend that all over. Then after that, I'm gonna be taking my MAC Studio Fix Powder in C8, along with a um, crown brush. It's just like a round kabuki brush. I'm just gonna be applying that over my face to kind of set my foundation. And then I will be taking another brush, or jamming out to Taylor Swift, you know, one of the two. <laughs> um, I'm just continuing to blend that powder all over my face and down my neck so that my face and neck have even colors, are evenly colored. So then I'm taking a Real Technique contour brush, and I'm going to be taking my Makeup Forever HD Micro Finish Powder, and I'm applying that under my eyes, on my forehead, and on my chin. So typically when you apply it un under your eyes and on your forehead, it's like to highlight your face, but I was just doing it to stop oil and then on my chin just because. Um, next I'm taking my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer in Original and I'm applying it all over my eyelid. Lids? Eyelids? Yep. <laughs> then I'm going to be taking my Sonia Kashuk Neutral Palette number 3. This is just the matte palette and a Delum Tools eyeshadow brush in that like reddish brown color. I'm applying that in my crease area and just doing a nice windshield wiper motion just so it's all over that area and I'm taking a Tokidoki eyeshadow brush and I'm applying that milky pink color onto my lid just so that I have a nice lid color and I'm doing once again that windshield wiper motion just so it's all blended then I'm also taking a Sigma tapered blending brush the E40 and I'm making sure everything is extremely blended because nobody likes those harsh edges going back in with that Real Techniques brush and brushing off that powder since it's been setting on there for a good amount of time and then I'm going to take my Sigma Large Powder, the F30, and that same um, Studio Fix Powder. I'm applying that over my face to kind of knock off any of the extra discoloration. Then taking some Fix Plus spray just to hydrate my face. And taking another Tokidoki Eyeliner Brush and the Maybelline Studio Gel Liner in Black. And I'm just going to do a wing liner, which I did off camera. Then I'm taking my Benefit Thero Mascara and the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara in black, and I'm applying that all over my lashes. We're starting with the Benefit They're Real. You can definitely tell this is going really, really fast because it takes me forever to do my mascara. And then I'm taking the Voluminous now, just going over it to kind of give it a thicker kind of look, and I kind of like that spider lash kind of thing. Um, then I'm going once again with that Voluminous Mascara. Mm -hmm. It's still going. But there we go. Mascara's done. Liner's done. Eyeshadow's done. I'm going to take my MAC Highliner in Rose Oil and the Sigma Contour Brush, the F05. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. And I'm just going to apply that along my cheekbones and on my forehead. And now I'm going to start my hair, which is a crazy mess. I'm taking the L'Oreal Sleek It Straight Heat Spray to help strip, uh, flat iron my hair. And also, it's a heat protectant. So I can get it nice and straight without damaging my hair. I'm going to spread that all over and comb it through. And then I'm just going to show you doing, me doing the bottom section. It's pretty much the same thing for the bottom and top section. I just go through, take decent sized chunks of hair, and I'm just flat ironing it. And you're just going to see my hair. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going through and combing through sections and flat ironing it. Making sure it's nice and straight. Alright 
right, so now you guys see, have seen like that whole bottom layer straightened, and now this is the finished result. My entire head is straightened. I'm kind of just messing with it. I'm probably going to be doing this even after the video is over, just messing with it and messing with it and messing with it until I get it like, exactly right. Now I'm doing my lips, and I'm taking the NYX Waterproof Retractable Eye Pencil in Dark Red and the Wet n Wild um, Matte Lipstick in Cherry Bomb. So I'm just um, starting out lining my lips with the NYX pencil, and then I'm also going to go and go with that pencil and fill it in as well, just because I feel like my lipstick kind of starts to come off. I still have a little bit of liner under there so it doesn't look like my lips are totally naked. And it also can help keep the color from bleeding and I just feel like it makes the color look better all together. So I'm just going through it and filling it in. And still rocking out to Taylor Swift. And so now I'm just putting on that NYX Cherry Bomb lipstick. And this lipstick is so pigmented. Um, I remember when they came out, I had done a video about it a long time ago. I think I'm taking it down now. But I'm just applying that first on my top lip and then a little bit on my bottom. And I keep doing a major mistake. It's like I keep licking my lips, which is making, if you guys can see it, it's making that pink line appear sometimes. Right there. That's from licking my lips as I'm applying the lipstick because it makes that lip when you, um, really wet. So don't lick your lips as you're applying lipstick. It's gross. And now I'm done. Thanks for watching, guys. Please be sure to subscribe so I can make more videos and give this a thumbs up. See you later.